Hi everyone, we are crossing the final straight again. And again, I'm wearing this nice white hoodie that each and everyone likes so much. By the way, you can buy this hoodie at the shop located at 56 Ibrahimov Street. And there are eight official stores where you can buy many university products. Watch on today. Tatiana Pakrovska has chosen the members for the University of Synchronized Swimming squad. We decided to take our first squad, that is, Russian national team. Raman Sharonov speaks on University of Ticket requests. Yes, some people are asking me to get the tickets for them. No, Simak haven't asked me so far. How Kazan will help Krasnoyarsk? Of course we want Krasnoyarsk to win, and we want Russia to prove one more time its right and ability to hold such large-scale international events. The Aquatics Palace is hosting one competition after another. Russian Synchronized Swimming Championship took place there last week. I really like the city, and we see big changes are going on here, and everyone is noticing it. It's a real pleasure to visit the city now. Right from the airport, you feel the difference. For me, this is the first time in Kazan, and it was a big surprise, though. I couldn't expect anything more than this. All these great venues and buildings. I'm impressed with the village itself, too. Ramashina and Kalisnichenko are the most honored swimmers of the Russian Championship. They are practicing their new program here in Kazan. Moreover, that's a good opportunity to try the basin before the university games earlier than other teams. But this is a great motivation for me, because our sport has been included into the University of Sports program for the first time, and the coming University Games, it's a great event for our country. We want to win all the possible competitions. We will actually see almost Olympic synchronized swimming competitions during the University Games. Everyone will try to bring their first squad here, because we have the World Championship coming short and it's impossible to change squad one week before the championship. The Games are held in our country. Synchronized swimming is included for the first time. This will be a little hard, maybe because everyone wants to win the University of Medal. Another important event will take place here after the University Games. Synchronized Swimming School will be founded in Kazan. At the moment such school exists only in Nabirajnei Chilni. It's just necessary to open a school here. There are such great pools here and there is no synchronized swimming. I think we will get back to this question right after the University Games and we will surely find a coach as well. By the way, our national synchronized swimming team is already planning to choose Kazan as its training camp before the World Aquatics Championship in 2015. We must try the water and Kazan will become even more beautiful by that time. Everyone loves sport here, so we like the place as well. The competition's results and tickets are available at kazan2013.com and at kasur-kazan2013.com. Today we decided to interview one of the university ambassadors and football club Rubin captain, Raman Sharonov. Hello, Raman. Can you feel the university coming already? Frankly speaking, no. The athletes have not yet arrived, and I think the last time remains, the more we will feel its spirit. When the fans and athletes are here, we will surely feel it. And now we can feel the preparations are fully on the way. You are a university ambassador. Have your friends or relatives asked you to get the tickets for them? Maybe Simak called you once? Yes, some people are asking me to get the tickets for them. No, Simak hasn't asked me so far. I think he has no time to come here. So I can say people are interested in this event. Krasnoyarsk hosted another stage of the University of Torch Relay, and Alexei Marozov and Ekaterina Gamova were taking part in the event. 
event. Were you invited as well? No, I think the organizers are aware of the Rush Championship taking place now, so I just don't have enough time. Would you like to participate in the relay? <laughs> Why not? What are your favorite kinds of sport? I know you often visit hockey and basketball matches. Basketball, then probably tennis, and my older daughter is practicing swimming. So I would say swimming. We know you really have a large family. What sports do you bear as a family? My daughter Marusia was playing tennis a little, but now she likes dancing and also doing karate at school. Have you already visited Kazan Arena? No, I was driving by a couple times, but I never been inside. No time for that. I want to play there actually while visiting. Definitely, when you have such a stadium, you wish to play there for at least five more years, I think. Well, stadium is not my major motivation. I have always been saying that I want to play as long as possible. So when I see that I'm no longer useful for the team, I will finish my career. Last week, we promised to tell you about Krasnoyarsk University Torch Relay Stage. Krasnoyarsk has become fourth city to welcome University Torch Relay on Russians, and it is definitely very special as Krasnoyarsk is one of the bidders to host the 2019 Winter University. They applied for participation last year, and as we have more than enough experience in bid campaigns, during university games and World Football Championship, World Aquatics Championship. Of course, we are cooperating with the organizing committee and with the governor. I know the voting will take place in November 2013, so we will do our best and try to help Krasnoyarsk to win this fight. Next city on the way is Novosibirsk on May 15th. Next week, the relay will cover 10 cities. We are on the final straight. Here is our YouTube channel, so subscribe. And here are the latest university and news in the social networks. My name is Adel Burganov. See you next week.